Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. I am a coupon coach and educator with my company, ChrisTheMaximizer.com. And today's video is part two in my packing and moving series. So a few weeks ago, I let you guys know that I had to move with just eight days notice. And I already posted part one of us packing up the house and cleaning out everything. And this video is part two. It shows you us packing up the house the last couple days and it gives you a empty house tour of our new apartment so if you're interested in seeing part two of packing and moving let's go ahead and dive right on in hello maximizers it is a wednesday and it's time for your wednesday update so kinsley has cleaned off the fridge i still have to clean it we have put i have went and put a bunch of bags in the car that are like i can carry because like i told you guys my landlord is going to give me my keys tomorrow to the new place so i am going to start moving like crazy there this fridge is like dirty it is scratched a little bit um but lots of fingerprints on here um so i'm going to right now i have a live with my salt maximizers in 20 minutes so what i'm going to do is we are going to go into this pantry and i'm going to try to clean out as much of the pantry as i can after my live, I'm going to finish cleaning out the entire pantry. And I'm going to also take apart my desk after my live. Me and Kinsley ordered Chinese. So I'm going to make sure that we take out snacks for her to have for Thursday and Friday. And then Friday, we will be sleeping in the new house. So that doesn't matter. We just need snacks for Thursday and Friday. And I have dinner for us. Today's Wednesday for tomorrow because we're going to eat the rest of our Chinese. And then the fridge stuff, I will also take over... Um, tomorrow as well like i'm gonna leave us the juice and the milk but like the bulk of like the freezer stuff like i'm gonna take the whole freezer tomorrow because we won't need anything from the freezer i'm gonna take everything besides like juice for us to drink but yeah i'm gonna pretty much take everything out so yeah we're about to do the pantry and then i'll have my live and then i'll give you guys a little bit of an update um so i did pack up my car so i put like i don't know 10 15 bags in my car anything that's light so the next thing we'll do to uh, tomorrow i'm gonna bring all the pantry stuff out and that'll be everything I bring in the first trip me over to the house. So yeah, I'm excited. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Um, it's, it's extra, it's extra like messy in here. So I feel overwhelmed with a lot of stuff that I have to do. But I'm happy that now I have like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to move. Sunday is going to be the cleaning day where I just come in here and clean everything. And then I'm going to hand the keys in on Monday morning. Um, all right, so let's get to work. Okay, so I didn't put my desk away. I didn't take the desk apart like I was supposed to but I cleaned out the closet and there's noticeably more stuff here so here is all food stuff and like pantry stuff yes I had to use plastic bags for like cereal the big plastic bags this is all stuff that like I'm gonna take so all those bags and all this bags and some of these bags and all these bags I am going to transport over um put some of the stuff away especially the food stuff um, so that I can have these bags to bring them back because there's still stuff in the pantry and then that is just everything so I want to get all these bags taken on Thursday so that I can move the big there's like big stuff over here that I want the movers to take so that I can move more of this stuff like towards the front or it can even stay here and then once they move the couch I'll just slide it up but anything that's like not heavy like I've been picking up bags if they're not too heavy I feel like taking them I'll do it I have this cooler that i put like all the drinks and stuff in anything that's like expired i did just dump it out because i did have some um drinks and stuff that had expired as far as like apple juices and stuff um cleaning stuff over there i wrapped up my mugs and i put them in my apple my apple bag that's the bag i actually bought my laptop in this stuff i do need to organize like some stuff is just a mess i cleaned out most of these drawers i'm gonna tape them closed there's a couple things in there but not too much that's just trash um, this is my spices, so let me move that over to the front. And then I'm almost done with the pantry, y'all. Almost done. I'm actually starting to get tired. Oh, yeah, I can fit some things. I'm going to fit a couple things on the top of this because this is the spices. So I'm actually kind of getting a little bit tired. So I'm going to go to sleep now, go lay down. Because um, tomorrow is going to be like, I me and kids are going to be moving until we're tired. Um, literally, because I want to do at least four four trips and we're just gonna load load up the car i mean i'm gonna fill up every single spot in the car front seat back seat floor trunk everything and just try to bring stuff over and unpack as much as possible and tomorrow i get the keys 
So I will bring you guys along with me as I grab the keys. The thing I did do is I pushed back my direct TV. So now that I know that Kinsley doesn't have school on Friday, that's another big thing. Um, the kids go on spring break, so she doesn't have school on Friday. So because she doesn't have school, I push my direct TV people. Well, it's actually my internet people, but direct TV is connected to them. It's a mess. Um, I push them back until like 2.30. So that way... Um, the movers can come in the morning. The movers should be done. If they come at the later time, they should be done by like 2. And then the direct TV people will come um, sometime between 2.30 and 4.30. And they will move my cable and my internet over to the new apartment. Um, so yeah, y'all. Your girl's tired. I'm going to bed now. I shall see y'all tomorrow. I will try to vlog early um, once I get the keys and once I do, do the stuff. Me and Kinsley already put some bags in my car. So in the morning, I'm just going to grab... Some more bags when I go over there and I'm going to do the whole fridge. So I'm just going to leave like, I'm going to leave the fridge until later, but I want to take all the fridge and freezer stuff, but I want to try to get mostly all the kitchen stuff out um, of here. And I do have to go to Dollar Tree. I don't know if I said that already. I need to go to Dollar Tree because I need rubber bands. I want to get a six pack of water because I want to put some water in the fridge for the movers and I want to grab some more toothpicks because I'm out of toothpicks. Well, I'm out of like straight edge toothpicks. I have like whatever. So anyway, I'm going to run to Dollar Tree. <sighs> After Kinsley is dropped at school, I'm going to come back here, load up the car, get the keys, and move my life away. So yeah, I really don't want to take this desk apart. I'm like seconds away from seeing if it'll fit out the door. If it fits out this door, it means it'll fit up my other door. But it is heavy. This glass piece right here is so heavy. I'm really worried about it being transported um, broken apart. I'm really worried about it. So I might I might take it apart and I might carry the glass over and like put it in a blanket. I'm really worried about this desk. I love this desk, by the way, but I'm really worried about it because I was like, oh, I'll keep it like this, but it's heavy. I don't want them dropping my desk. So I'm going to take it apart. I really, really, really don't want to take it apart. Um, but we'll see. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. See you tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is a Thursday and I have, um, cleaned out my freezer. I didn't do the fridge, but I did the freezer. Um, the pantry is almost done. I have a little more to do, but I'm about to go and get my keys. It's 10 50. I'm going to bring some more bags to the car, go get the keys to the new place and unload what I have. I'm trying to do two runs before my coaching call, go over there, unload, bring a couple extra bags back with me and then do another drop and then come back and do my coaching call. And then before I pick up Kinsley, load up my car. So when we come back first thing, we can stop at the new house and drop off that load. So that is my plan for the next two and a half hours is to just load up, load up, load up. Um, I've been taking pictures so that I can just remember this place. Remember the mess. I wish I would've took pictures when it wasn't a mess. I forgot about that part. Um, but yeah, I'm going to load up my car and I'm going to bring you guys along and I'm going to show you the empty apartment. Okay, here is the apartment. So I just brought in some food stuff. So I'm going to carry that upstairs with me in a second. But I'm gonna just going to grab something light and let's show you guys. Oh, I love it so freaking much. Okay, so... This is like the pantry. It freaking comes with a light. Look how big it is. So this is like a pantry. And then we have the beautiful kitchen, which looks just like my kitchen that I currently have. They provide you with a trash can and a recycle bin because we have like um, valet trash where all we do is put our trash outside and then they take it. This is the same exact setup as my current apartment. Um, this is really different because my stove was over here and my dishwasher was over there. So here's the dishwasher. Looks about the same. It's about the same amount of counter space, the same amount of cabinets. This little pantry is actually smaller than the one in my current apartment, but I get that giant closet, which I didn't have in the other place. Beautiful fridge, same exact fridge as what I have now, and same exact cabinet space. It seems like less cabinets, 
So I have to figure out which one's gonna be Orlando's cabinet. Huh, I guess it's about the same cabinet space, but then microwave and everything. Stove, all that stuff looks the same. I need to change that time though. The wine rack they give us, the light fixtures, all that's the same. Look at this living room. Oh my goodness. So this is the living room. We'll have the TV up here. We will have the couch right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the TV here. That's the only option. The TV here. Couch is gonna go over here, but I think I'll have it saying that way. And then I'm gonna put my desk. This is gonna be my office little nook here. Um, I think I'm gonna have my desk face here and then have everything else over here. So that's gonna be my desk nook. Um, yeah, the TV's gonna go on this wall. I'll figure it out. I mean, they're gonna put the couch in, but I can move the couch around. So that's the living room. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so freaking excited. Here's the washing machine and dryer, which I'm a tad bit upset with because the washing machine is usually always on this side, but it's like they had it backwards. And I'm like wondering if the cords are long enough for me to like swap them. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to get used to having my dryer over here and my washing machine over here, which is just backwards to me, but whatever. This is laundry, so all our laundry stockpile will be here. So, please don't want these be another closet. Okay, so here is just the, oh, I gotta ask them to give me a new filter. And then this is another closet. A linen closet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have that. I might even put Orlando in this closet. Like I need to have a place for his litter box. Um, this is Kinsley's bathroom. So this is Kinsley's. Ooh. This is Kinsley's bathroom, and then this is Kinsley's room. Okay, Kinsley's room. And then look at this closet, y'all. This this is Kinsley's closet. <gasps> oh my gosh! Like she could like he could put a small room in here. Like how big this closet is? Okay, like insanity. Um, so that's Kinsley's room, and this is my room. Super huge. It's smaller than the room that I have now, but I'm okay with it. Here's my bathroom, which is a little bit bigger than Kinsley's bathroom. I like that we have a little bit more counter space, but same bathroom as the other apartment. And then my closet is just massive. And then there's even shelving over here in this closet. Like, this is like so much bigger than my other closet. My other closet was like this. And like, I didn't have any of this. So like, oh my God, y'all. So yeah, that is it. That is a full apartment. I'm trying to really figure out where I'm going to put the cat litter box. It definitely may have to go in here. Oh, you know what? That's the difference. In my one bedroom apartment, we had space for towels in the bathroom, but it looks like the towels will have to go here. And I'm probably gonna put Orlando's litter box in there. So the towels will have to go there. But yes, my friends, this is the apartment. I'm so happy to be here. Um, and then we have the screened in porch, which I can show it to you guys through here. This is like the screened in porch. So instead of having like the porch out front, like I have in my other house, you can just go outside and this can be like more living space. Let's go right outside. And it's a nice size. I'm gonna use part of it for storage. Like this part is gonna be like storage and this part will be like um, living space cause it's like more sunny on this side but I'll use this side for storage. Like I have like my Christmas bins and Kinsley's bike there for when she wants to go outside. But overall, I'm so grateful and thankful that I can get this. And um, yeah, let me put the air it's on 75 i like to keep my house on 74 and that's it so it's on 74 and so now i'm just gonna unload my car and get to work
Hey y'all, it's Friday, it's moving day. I don't think I checked in again last night. Here's Kinsley. We, it is 10.39 a.m. on Friday. We just did a load at the new house and I'm still waiting for the movers. So I'm going back to the old apartment and I'm going to continue to pack up. I'm gonna load up this car one more time because when the movers come, so when they move their truck. So this for me for Friday. Yeah, I bought that from her in the Target video. If you haven't watched my Target video, go watch it. I bought her that treat, it was on clearance. And I bought her the markers to color it. Um, so I'm going to go back to my this old apartment, load up this car one more time. So when the movers move that truck, I'm gonna move my car too, so we can come over here together and I'll unload my car while they unload the truck because I like to maximize my time. Duh, that's who I am. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go load up with like, I have another printer I need to move. I have more laundry. Um, well not laundry, like stuff hanging up in my closet I wanna move some more dishes that are not in the dishwasher. My dishwasher and my dryer are full. I wanna get those clothes out the dryer, get them into a suitcase. If I have another suitcase left, I'm gonna see. Um, that's pretty much it, y'all. Now I'm just waiting for them to come to move all of the big stuff. And then it'll be like settling in cause I'm sleeping in the new house tonight. And then tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to Macy's cause I want all new bathroom stuff. And before it gets too crazy out here, I would like to at least go buy the stuff. So I'm gonna go to Macy's because I have tons of coupons and stuff for Macy's. So I'm gonna go to Macy's to see if I can get new bathroom and new kitchen. I already bought kitchen rugs from Target. I may or may not use them if I find something nicer at Macy's. So yeah, that is the state of the union. I'll bring you guys into, I'll bring you into the old house so you can see that mess and then I'll bring you into the new house as well. Your girl is not doing okay because these stinking movers are not here yet and I'm getting kind of frustrated. So to ease my frustration, I'm just gonna load up my car again and make another run of the stuff that I can carry. But I'm getting low on stuff that I can carry because I've pretty much got everything that I can carry out. It is 12.25 on Friday and I was supposed to have movers between nine and 11. And I keep calling the office and they're saying they're calling the driver. They don't know why the driver's not here. And I'm going to flip my sh Sorry for cursing. If I'm getting scammed or what. Like, I don't know what to think at this moment. At, at this very moment, I don't know what to think. Um, luckily, the credit card that they have on file, I gave them one that only had just enough to cover. So that way, if they did do anything shady, they can't, they can't charge much more than what they got already. Um, and it was only a $50 deposit, but I don't want to put anything negative into the world. I just want to say, hey, we're going to move forward and we are going to move. But I'm just a little bit frustrated right now. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and do one more run. So I'm about to load up and I think I might grab my suitcases that have clothes in them and then take some out because I still have like some clean clothes and some dirty clothes that I need to get over here and I don't have enough bags to put to put them in so i'm thinking that i may do that because i have like three four suitcases all with clothes in them but i'll show you guys around really quick so this is still all the stuff that i would like the movers to move this is everything i can pr i probably end up moving that end tables don't mind the mess the tv that they were that my apartment is gonna amount for me but i need the movers to carry it over so now i'm behind schedule on that i may not be able to get this mounted until maybe tomorrow because I need the movers to move it. The couch. And then I have these suitcases. All this stuff over here is full of heavy stuff. My shelf, Kinsley's old mattress, more drawers. The desk that I did not take apart. So I'm going to be like, hey, um, do I need to take this apart? Are you guys going to take it apart? Are you going to carry it? I need to know. I have my chairs. This is going in the trash because Kinsley beat it up. Um, this is all stuff that I'm going to put in my car. I'm taking this to go get shredded. Did you know they do shredding at Office Depot and Staples? Like a dollar a pound. I have these bags that need to go. Kinsley has a baby doll. I don't know why. Um, and then I have a little bit of stuff in here. And I have clothes in here. So I need to get this stuff out. So, And then the bathroom is pretty much another hot mess. So y'all. And then here's my room again back around. I still have to get all this stuff out the closet. Which is what I'm working on right now. But I did completely clear out Kinsley's closet so yeah your girl is just mad annoyed so I'm going to um, pick one area I'm gonna finish doing my closet load all that stuff in my car and then just keep moving everything that I can possibly move until these people get here pray for me pray for me 
five hours later the movers have come this place is a mess i have a lot of cleaning to do the floor is so scratched up oh my god oh i have a lot of cleaning to do look y'all look at my room oh my god look at that wall spot that's pretty sure that's from the oil of my hair which is terrible to think about but yeah, so all I have left to do now is grab the TVs and a little bit of stuff. And then that stuff in the corner, I'm going to grab later. But yeah, that's it. Okay, y'all. So now we are moving everything in. We got everything from the old apartment. There's still a little bit of stuff that I need to get. But the movers are here. My cable and internet gentleman is here. He's loading everything up. But this is the state of the new house union. Kinsley is in her room playing on her old mattress coloring this is her room we got a bunch of stuff in here y'all so the unpacking part is what i actually hate the most but it's kind of like nice because i get to organize and make stuff new but like literally this is everything so i'm excited i can't wait for today to be done i'm gonna try to go back to the other house and move as much 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 more tonight so i can just be done with it and then tomorrow we'll be cleaning um, I'll spend like two or three hours over there just cleaning and just vacuuming and dusting and then yeah Good morning, Maximizers. It's Saturday, March 14th. Your girl is so sore and so tired. It is absolutely insane. So I'm about to voice over my top deals, get them posted. I have to go through my emails. Um, I have to basically cancel my tour um, for Atlanta, and it's okay. I will not um, schedule any more tour dates until after this coronavirus thing goes down. My event that I was going to have in May is postponed so the event that i was going to do in fort lauderdale is postponed because i was only going to do it because i was going to be there if that makes sense so all this stuff is going to be postponed the only thing that's still true is my butt is getting in the car and driving to maryland in july to be with my family um so that that's the one trip right now that i'm on solid ground that i'm doing um and then my family as long as flights aren't canceled my family still plans to come here um on March 31st so I'm gonna do some work and um, I want us to go back to the old house and we need to do like a set of cleaning like decide okay what room are we gonna clean like I need to do the kitchen because there's still dishes and stuff over there so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpack some stuff here so I can grab some more bags and suitcases and take over there and then we're gonna spend a couple hours over there cleaning vacuuming I'll let Kinsley play outside while I'm doing that and then today for stores, I want to go to Macy's because I have a bunch of Macy's coupons and I have the Macy's credit card. And we're going to go and try to find bathroom decor for both bathrooms, rugs, towels, shower curtains, everything. Because I do want fresh towels. Like, I'm probably going to dump all my towels that are not the newest towels that I bought. Um, and then I also want to get... Um, a new bedding set for myself and a bedding set for Kinsley. We're going to go to Rooms to Go and I'm going to purchase um her bed set that I saw um bed desk bed dresser um mirror and a mattress I'm gonna buy that for her and it's gonna be delivered next week because she don't have no bed and she's been sleeping with me which is okay but I want her in her own room with her own bed um so I'm going to purchase that today and get that ball rolling so my friends that is the state of the union um, I'm in my new room. It's uh, really messy in here. There's my laptop. Whoops, I don't try to see people email addresses. But um, it's really messy in here. But um, we're going to do a little bit of unpacking. Then we're going to go pack. And then we're going to go to Macy's and rooms to go. And I was so in the moment. A good vlogger. I didn't get a lot of footage of like the movers and everybody coming in here. Because it was just so chaotic and so hectic, y'all. So, But I wanted to document this for you. So I'll show you guys around the house as well. As I tidy up. So, um, let's dive into work. All right, Maximizers, live from the old house. It's Saturday at 4 p.m. So, what I did this round was you can hear the echo really loud now. I came in and I pretty much got everything together that we still need to take, which I'm going to show you, with the exception of what's in the fridge, because Kinsley and I are going to come back after we go shopping. We're about to go to Macy's and Rooms to Go because um, I need a break from packing. So, I'm going to take a few hours, go shopping, get some new stuff for my new house. And then we're going to come back here. We're going to do a load of this stuff, take it over. I need to unpack slightly. Like I need a couple of suitcases to come back so that I can get the rest of the stuff. Hopefully three more trips. 
and I should be able to get everything. And then my last trip, once I'm done cleaning, um, I'll be able to take my cleaning supplies. So I turn my keys in on Monday, but I want to be done cleaning in here tomorrow. But let me show you. So this is a lot of last minute items that I need to take. They're not bagged up. I just brought everything over here. I knocked over the shoes on accident. These are like dirty clothes that I'm going to wash when I get over there. It's not a lot at all, but the movers, once they got to like an hour and 10 minutes, I was like, okay, let's go unload because I didn't want to go over. I went over by 30 minutes over my two hours. And if I would have had to move this stuff, I would have definitely went into the three hour range. And then I have to take the dollhouse. This, this isn't trash. This is actually, um, Kinsley's closet thing and then all the bags that I save from birthday parties and stuff and then now I just need to sweep mop do the walls and then these are all my cleaning supplies that I'm leaving here snacks for when Kinsley's here with me um cleaning supplies she's playing with her friends right now but cleaning supplies and stuff these are the screws for my um tv I mean not for my yeah for my tv and for Kinsley's um crib but the maintenance guys use their own screws because i accidentally left these here but everything else is pretty much cleaned up this is all bags of trash all three of these are bags of trash this is a bag i'm going to use to clean out the fridge um this suitcase is full of dishes these dishes aren't quite dry yet they aren't quite dry yet so i want to let them dry out but everything else is pretty much empty these are all bags that i can use to pack stuff in um they're also not the right size so i'm gonna take a bunch of these back over and then my two things to make kool-aid and tea are there i need to get those out um i've cleaned the laundry that's just lint i need to put in the trash and then i still have to clean the bathroom but everything is basically cleaned out there's just a lot of fuzz and dust from like moving stuff around and in the room oh my gosh y'all the room is completely empty. It's a hot freaking mess from just like moving so quickly. So I'm going to get that. I got the vacuum cleaner here. So we're going to spend tomorrow. It's literally just going to be cleaning. So tonight I'm going to move everything out. The other thing about this is because it's so freaking hot outside, it's actually better if we move later in the day. So even at nighttime, I'm okay with moving um, because I feel really safe in my community, but also it's not hot. It was burning, burning. So we're about to go. I'm going to grab Kinsley. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a round of trash. There's stuff outside that we need to take to the trash. So I'm going to take that stuff to the trash. And then we're going to go shopping. And then we'll be back tonight. And I'll bring you guys back. Okay, Maximizers. It is Saturday night at 9.30. Kinsley's pretending to mop. We just cleaned a lot. I didn't clean much out here. But I did clean a little bit of the kitchen. I mostly cleaned the bathroom. So the bathroom, besides the tub, I did this, the counter, the toilet, really good around the toilet. Kinsley actually vacuumed this whole place. She even did all the corners. Um, the only thing I have left to do is dust the ceiling fans and then we'll do another round of vacuuming in here. But y'all, we, we did it. We are almost done. So this is the last bit of stuff. We literally have tomorrow left, and that's it. So all the stuff on the counter stuff we're using to clean and all that stuff and make sure we have snacks while we're here. Um, so now we're about to put our last load of tonight in. I imagine I'm going to have to do like two loads tomorrow because I got to bring this dollhouse. And we have some stuff outside that needs to go in the trash. And we just have like knickknacks and stuff. But um, so yeah, I'm excited to be done. Don't mind her crying. She wants to mop so bad. And I keep telling her, no, we're mopping tomorrow. I do have to like deep clean the fridge and stuff. So yeah, I have a little bit more to do, but today was a good day. Today was a good day. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Sunday, Maximizers. So, okay. It is 10 37 AM on Sunday, March 15th. And, uh, we just pulled up at the old house and i spent some time unpacking this morning and i don't know i'm such a bad vlogger i didn't show you guys but when i get back to the new house i'll like show you what i've done so far um but uh we're at the old apartment it's sunday i have to turn in the keys tomorrow morning um i have appointments and stuff tomorrow so i have to get done there's some macy star cash so yesterday and i went and i did like three transactions and i earned like 30 to 40 dollars each transaction then i rolled that to the next transaction so I spent about three, did I spend about 300 or so dollars getting new bedding sets for us, towels, 
some bad stuff so the star cash is extended until today so i have 40 dollars in my account right now that i have to roll so i'm gonna go and i need like a shelf for my kitchen i need a new dish rack so there's things that i need so i'm gonna go to macy's and use my um rewards cash that i earned it's called star cash and roll that to another transaction and grab some more things that i need and drive to another macy's not the one i went to yesterday to see if they have anything different um so at this point you guys are gonna see this much later i'm gonna just go to cvs today but i'll post that video tomorrow because it's really important to me to go and get everything else that i need and not feel the pressure to run out because it's sunday to get a video up when there's other things i need to do like spend about two more hours in this apartment cleaning so i'll bring you guys in the apartment we're gonna do a trash run because we do have valet trash so i will be able to put trash out tonight since i'm turning in my keys tomorrow but I have some big bulky stuff that the people may or may not take. So me and Kings are going to load up the car with that trash. And then we're going to make one more run to the new apartment. We're going to get dressed, shower, and then we're going to head out to Macy's and CVS. So I'm going to try to be better about bringing you guys along. Just know that like it's not because I don't want to share. It's because I'm so caught up in the moment of like moving and getting stuff. And yesterday we had this really nice cashier. He helped us. We were in Macy's for like two hours, y'all. And they gave us a cart to wheel out all of our stuff. And I know like I should be taking pictures and videos, but it's kind of hectic. And to have Kinsley, I have her like using this phone to like play games and stuff so that she's not so crazy. So just forgive me. I know in vlogs I'm supposed to show more, but it just gets crazy. So I'm gonna do my very best to try to show you guys more. Plus my tripod broke, so I'm like holding the camera old school. It's it's just a hot mess. I don't have time to order another one because I'm moving, I'm busy. So come tomorrow, the I'm moving will be gone and it'll be I'm unpacking, which is probably gonna take another week or so to unpack everything and just really organize. So yeah, y'all, I'll bring y'all into the older apartment, then I'll bring you into the new apartment okay maximizers we're about to make a run to the car we have to do a trash run and then i think it's going to take us maybe two trips to get the rest of this stuff i'm going to make sure i can just bring all this stuff in one bag i am going to leave this chair here just in case i need to like stand up and clean anything else this is from the microwave this is going in the trash these are going in the trash i'm buying fresh ones um, I do need to wipe down the stove again because I wiped the stove. Then I cleaned the microwave, but you know, the crumbs and crap that were in the microwave fell to the stove. So I do have to do that again, but pretty much everything is done. Um, Kinsley has been helping me a lot. She mopped up. Hey, did you mop up this corner too or just the closet? Okay, so we still have to mop, but we have vacuum swept. The bathroom's done. The bedroom's done. Everything's done. I've cleaned all the ceiling fans um i can't ever this thing never closes i've wiped down the window sill. um i just have to do the living room ones but yeah y'all everything is done let me show you the bathroom like this bathroom is in pristine condition i left toilet paper here just in case we obviously have to go over in here cleaning but yeah we've cleaned everything so now we're about to make a run we're gonna do a trash run and then we're gonna unload at our new house and then we we are off to another macy's a different one that we went to yesterday to get i need some kitchen stuff a couple more bathroom things for kinsley's bathroom um so we're gonna do that my couponing is just gonna be i'm gonna go later like there's no rush for me to go right now um there's just no rush so i've taken a wusa i'm probably gonna post a couple random videos i'm gonna post like my corona shopping video um, I have some other footage that of things I can post. So I'll get some sort of video up, but like everybody knows that I'm moving. So like, like I said, I'm not stressing. I'm not worried. So I will bring y'all to the new house and give you an update then. This apartment complex was brand new when I moved into it. Half the complex wasn't even open. This blue plastic has been on here for two years because I was unable to pull it off when I first moved in. And I was just so excited to be in a place. Like, I never lived in a place with brand new appliances. In college, we had brand new dorm rooms. So I had a brand new microwave and a brand new washing machine that was community. But when I tell you that every single appliance in here, this fridge, the stove, the microwave, the dishwasher, the washing machine and dryer. Hey, look, there's me. I took the plastic off of everything in this apartment so i just wanted to take a minute to show you guys that like as i'm cleaning the fridge i have the whole fridge out i found more blue plastic that i didn't get off when i first moved in and i've been in this apartment for two years 
Here's Kinsley. This is our update. So I'm cleaning this out and then I'm gonna go to another Macy's. What I was saying was I never lived in a place where I had to pull the plastic off besides that dorm room where the uh, microwaving stuff was clean. So this is what I'm doing y'all, cleaning. And then I'm gonna let this stuff dry. And then when me and Kinsley get back tonight, we'll put it back in the fridge. And then we just need to, um, Kinsley, please don't hurt yourself. We just are gonna have to take the dollhouse and the vacuum cleaner and then this cleaning supplies is what we're gonna have to take back with us, whatever's left. I already got rid of one bottle of cleaner. Um, so yeah, we just cleaning and I will let you guys know once we're done, we're gonna head home, take showers, go to Macy's because there's a killer sale. And then we're going to come back here, put the trash out, and then tomorrow we turn in the keys. I'm so happy for this to be over. All right, Maximizers, that is all. We cleaned out the old house. I turned in the keys on Monday morning. And the next video you'll see will be part three, but it'll be an organization update in the new house and unpacking videos. And I'm gonna show you how I organize like the kitchen, my bedroom, my office, and all that jazz. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out part one and check out a couple of my other videos and let the ads play through i will leave some links right here on the screen if you have questions comment down below if you have other video ideas things you want to see from me as we're all in the house let me know comment down below i'm looking for new and fresh non-couponing videos i will plan i do plan to do more budgeting videos so stay tuned for that so i want to thank you guys so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you please stay safe and as always please like share and subscribe Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.